2002 and 2010, and more recently. Now, while increased apoptosis could lead to cell loss, loss of apoptosis companies in South and an increase of cancer incidence. So, the JMK pathways also involved in cancer, if you understand it, because you need to have the apoptosis and you also need to have the molecular signal with the fact the JMK pathway that could impair the balance between cell survival and apoptosis. So you need the cellular apoptosis and you need the cellular regeneration. And that again is a question of the timing issue, the clocks that we were talking about earlier. Is it, so the balance between apoptosis and cell survival is crucial. Now, another research in 2003 found uh, uh, that the JNK pathway is a genetic determinant of aging and genetic uh, signaling of uh, JNK activity alleviates the toxic effects of reactive oxygen species. So it also uh, helps in the regeneration process and also in the uh, detoxification process. Statistical analysis, this is an experimental study, found that uh, a mild but significant difference or between controls and experimental subjects, whereas upregulating the JNK signal pathway increases wound healing and downregulating it, it slows down the wound healing. So JNK pathway and has been quite popular in this signaling process. As you can see, it's a very, very complex process, and uh, there are growth factors, there are cytokines, there are growth factors, and then um, and a lot of different aspects that are involved in wood healing, and I can go a little bit more um, in detail in the, the future slides. Now, collagen receptors are also very, very important. Some of them, DDR1 is not for proliferation, but DDR2 is. So there are certain parts of collagen are important, and other parts of collagen are not important. That's why we say let's increase collagen. It cannot be indiscriminately increasing collagen. You need to know what aspects of this collagen you're increasing. Because that's how the keloids are made, they're made of excess of collagen in the scars. So, but it's not the aspects of collagen that you want to increase. If you want to be more specific in your signaling, it's not just collagen you're increasing, certain parts, certain aspects of collagen. So this type proposes the cellular signaling that enhances binding to DDR2 collagen receptors is a therapeutic target aiming for accelerated wound healing. Now other aspects, protein assays and signaling are very, very important. There are certain proteins, the matrix uh, metalloprotein assays, the gelatin assay A, collagen assay 3, and so on and so forth. They are quite relevant to wound healing. Connections are also very, very relevant to wound healing. And you want those signals basically um, decoded and also reproduced. So that regulation of connections is very important because what we have seen is that uh, for example, down regulations of CX43 results in closing the wound, and also it results in reducing the negative effects of inflammation. And CX26 has been associated with hyperbolic conditions, delayed in remodeling and recovery. So this is the signals that you don't want, basically. So timing factor in the signal in arena we uh, observe the healing is much lower with age to correct and incorrect cell communication. So overall, of course, timing has an important aspect, a uh, contribution, and incorrect cell communications leave the body with inappropriate signal. So basically what we need, we need the signaling within a time frame of um, discrete changes. Here you see a study that shows that uh, T cells from aged have discrete 
fluidity in the membrane. You can see the discrete fluidity in the membrane versus the normal cell. So as you can see, the communications and a lot of communications and aging go hand in hand. So it has been found that keloids is both an increased uh, ultimate activity of phytogenic you know, uh, cytokinase like the PGF, IGF-1, interleukin-1 especially. So it's the timing that is very important and how the signaling is connected to the style. So more specialized research is needed, of course, for specific signals and timing determines the alignment, order, and appearance or disappearance of the signal because an extended signal could be damaging and also a signal, of course, that did not come on time. Again, it will not get in the actual process completed. So there are several factors acting all together. This is a dynamic multi-process that involves a matrix of signals within a matrix of specific timers. So this is the, the concept of body tuning. What we do is we decode the signals and we reproduce, we introduce the signals to the body within specific times and these signals keep alternate. Uh, according to a sort of uh, a key process that uh, takes into consideration circadian clocks of the cells. Thank you very much. May we request Dr. Safa to please remain on stage for the Q&A scientific forum. And also let's all welcome back our moderator, Dr. Thelma Tamayo Rojas. very much for that uh, very informative lecture. You know, uh, you're such a good model of this circadian body tuning and you truly, truly walk the talk, right? Okay, and uh, I know everyone here uh, uh, share with me the same comment. Okay, uh, doctor, one question. If I am your patient, I would come to you and ask for this uh, thing that, uh, that you're talking about, the circadian body tuning for anti-aging. I want you to counteract the effect of time and gravity on my skin. So how exactly would you do it to me? Oh, okay, so, uh, well, we, we have developed a device. It was built in, um, actually, in Cambridge University originally. And um, if you apply it on the face, it's a device, actually and uh, it gets uh, signals that are extremely low um, energy, extremely low energy, like below nano, below one billion for the mother kind of thing. So, and at those levels, the, um, uh, the atom channels cannot be numb, and you can pass the signals through. Once you pass the signals through, then basically the body will absorb it and uh, repair itself. Okay, so what you see, the, the, the trick is to find the signals, what signals they are. And then what's the more complicated process is how to combine the signals because it's really a matrix and how long the signals have to stay on and how long they have to stay off. So it's like a music, it's like a, a musical piece, it's like a movie that every scene has to be in a certain sequence, otherwise you, you lose the meaning of it, kind of thing. So it's presented, and what you can see, actually I have the machine upstairs in my room because I, I don't live, I don't live home without it. <laughs> like they say, um, you can come and I, I, can, uh, I can show it to you, actually. Um, it's, um, you feel nothing, and all of a sudden, your face is lifted. I'm 62 years old. Wow. I have never done anything to myself other than never lasers, never bottles, never. Wow. This gentleman knows me from before. <laughs> and I keep, I always keep oscillating. I will never do anything else. So it's, you know, I can, um, you know, show the effect of it. 
uh, I really believe in, in the technology. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I, I was involved in the programming of, uh, and it's, it's very sophisticated, it's very complex, and it's extremely effective. You see amazing results with it. So, and no pain, mm -hmm. no trauma, no, actually there's no sensation. If anything, it's relaxing. Most people start snoring. So you actually use or utilize a machine? Yes, it's a machine. It's a machine. Yes. Okay. It's a machine. For how long would I be under this, this treatment? About 15, 20 minutes. You can, the more you do it, the, the, the better it is. Actually, we had recently a case of Coco. This uh, gentleman, uh, well, he did the, he cut his, his legs because he wanted to get three inches taller. Uh, and there was like a big gap in, uh, in his calf here. Mm -hmm. And we put the technology on, and you could start seeing the bones start kind of moving. Oh, magic. <laughs> it's kind yeah, of magic. It's amazing. Really, really amazing. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, it's new, it's, uh, most people don't understand it. I'm sure I bored you with my lecture. It's uh, with all of my quantum physics uh, craziness, but uh, it's extremely interesting, and basically the, the results are very, very powerful. A very powerful results. Would that be the same technology that you would use for uh, chronic, chronic inflammation, like the arthritis, That's right. uh, the, yeah. uh, what else, uh, obesity, cancer, you know, a lot more. So, well, it's, we have not used it for cancer. I, I used it for my dog. My dog has cancer. She's still alive. She's supposed to die three months ago. But, it's a cancer is a very complicated concept. I don't want to say anything like that. But we've seen great results with wounds. Okay. We've seen fantastic results with pain. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen some hair growth. Uh, of course, with donation results, we see quite. So, uh, uh, we guarantee results for pain and wound healing, right? Healing is, and of is course, anti-aging. Anti-aging, yes. Because yeah. if the body is healthy on the inside, you see. The aging will not be there. It's a thing we age because the body starts breaking down. Okay, one last question. If I am the subject and I come to you for the, for, for this, for anti-aging um, regimen, how long would I get the benefits that I desire? The results are permanent. Of course, you will continue to age. You know, it's not going to start you from aging. They, but the results are permanent in the sense that they don't go back to what it was before. Uh, you may need more than one treatment if you're... Just you're one treatment, I get results. one treatment, you can get results. Oh, yeah. you yes. Uh, they might not last as long as if you did three, four treatments. Mm -hmm. You know, because then your result is stabilized. The more you, know, you get better different. results. Yeah, the more you get the better results. Yes. But it's not, you see, very, very fast results obvious results, they're dramatic and they're long lasting. This sounded so good. And it is, it is. Uh, do you have questions, doctors? Okay. I, yeah, there is. Good afternoon, Dr. Asaya. Good afternoon. Yeah, um, after your presentation, I saw and uh, it shows some basic knowledge in uh, physiology and histology. And I guess it's uh, working on the uh, theory of uh, is working on the uh, ion channels, the sodium and uh, calcium channels. Right. Um, it occurred to me, does it work the same principle as in Rife therapy? Rife therapy? It, it, it doesn't really, but it's the Rife therapy is um, uh, is a precursor of this kind of uh, conceptual understanding of what we have. Uh, but it's, it's very different, really. Um, but it's, it's within the same arena, if you like. You know, it's the same type of, the same direction. 
but only a much kind of later stage because it's very, very specific, far more specific, and it really deals with molecular mechanisms. You see, the fasc what fascinates me, has all fascinated me, is that you look at ATP and AMP and, and GMP, these guys go back and forth in time all the time, which we cannot do. So if we want a time aging, we want time reversal, what do we do? We focus on molecular mechanisms. But of course, the science of today is very, very difficult. We do not observe it. So, um, you know, but I think that it's going to be the science of tomorrow. Yeah, because it's really fascinating. Just look at the picture itself. Uh, the wound healing using only frequency. Right. So it's something working on the life therapy. That's right. That's right. That's right. It, what Rifle did, he, he basically created this frequency that said everything has a certain frequency. So it's exactly the same concept that Dr. Ahmad was saying if my liver has a problem, I'm going to give liver cells to it. If my brain has a problem, I'm going to give brain cells to it. It's the same, it's the same concept, but here you say, okay, that's it. Every, every organ has a frequency. So you say, okay, now this organ, the frequency is uh, damaged, so I'm gonna give it the same frequency. And it's like uh, basically, um, like the example that we said about a cancer, it's like, you know, you rub that tired kind of cell and you dance it back to its normality kind of thing. Okay, if there are no more questions then, I guess we have to thank here our beautiful, young-looking doctor, Sanya. Can I ask all the executive officers or the board of directors to come and sit down? Dr. Ellen Mendez, Dr. James Luada, Dr. Gisela, Dr. Sargento, Dr. Richard Sargento, Dr. Roda Espino, Dr. Albert Tato. Can you come up here? And to award a plaque of appreciation by to call on Dr. Charlie Mendez, Dr. Francis Nicanchon, Dr. Maria Ellery Mendez, Dr. James Boado, and Dr. Gisela Sarmiento. The Philippine Academy of Aesthetic and Age Management Medicine Incorporated awards this plaque of recognition and is presented to Ms. Sanya Safra uh, as a resource speaker on the topic entitled Postpartum High-Speed Virtual Exercise and, and Rejuvenation. So given this the third day of September 2016, during the PAMI fourth annual convention with the theme Age Management and Aesthetic Revolution, keeping up with advances and changing trends held at New World Manila Bay Hotel, Manila, Philippines. Signed by Dr. James Boado, Chairman, Committee on Scientific Program, Dr. Maria Larim M. Mendez, Overall Chairman, Annual Convention, and Dr. Charlie Mendez, National President, Honorary Chairman. Congratulations. Thank you. 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 We, as a family of Paami, we are very much honored and grateful because it's the first time that Dr. Sanya Sofra has came to the Philippines. So, it's her first time here in the Philippines. She's a very, she's an icon also for anti-AJ. And she's bringing the latest technology of that Iron Magnum. Soon enough, again, very first. You heard it first here in Paami, and we'll have our scientific symposium. And also, they will showcase it once again within the year, and hopefully again next year on our next convention. And with that, as gorgeous as she is at 62, we want to say today she is celebrating. She is out of her, out from her country. She's here in the Philippines to celebrate her 62nd birthday with us today.
Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our scientific session for today. Thank you to all the delegates and of course especially to our guest speakers. Now before we end, we'd like to invite everyone to more for day two of Pioneer Convention.